everyone. Today we're bringing a little bit of fun. Um, so we're going to be doing a felting workshop to cover some holes in a jumper. So please, as always, grab a cuppa, sit back, relax and join us. So as always, we're going to spend a bit of time talking about the equipment as for felting, it is quite specialised. Um, so first off, we've got what we would call our felting mat. Now, this goes inside the jumper and this is what we will use as the base to be able to felt the wool. Next, I will show you the felting needle. Now, this is quite a specialised item of equipment really because um, you can see the needle itself is quite thick um, that's that bit there the piece that Ellie's holding in her other hand is actually the handle but um, the interesting thing about the needle point on this is that it's actually barbed so um, we have been known to stab ourselves and it certainly hurts coming out more than it does going in. So just a word of warning, when you are doing this yourself, um, just be careful to keep your other hand away from the point as it does hurt, believe me. So that is what will be used to stick into the felting wool to get it to, to map together. And then of course, we have our felting wool. Now we've got a nice forest green and a slightly off white that we'll be using today. Um, so first off, we, we are actually going to do a repair on this jumper as, um, as you all know, pesky moths. They, they do like to munch away. So, as I say, first off, we'll do a repair and then we'll take you through some decorative felting that you can actually do just to breathe new life into maybe an old sweater that is so comfortable you don't want to get rid of, but you can brighten it up. So, Ellie will start off by placing um, the pad into the garment. Now, what we need to do is place it so that it it covers the hole with a good bit of space either side, because obviously we want our felting to cover the hole completely and go into the, the good part of the jumper a little way as well. So Ellie's going to start off by using the green. Um, now, this is totally different to um, bald wool that you get that's wound for knitting. This hasn't been um, spun, so all of the fibres are quite loose. Um, so Ellie is going to do some circles today. Um, so she's just... Um, playing with the wool a little bit just to get it to go where she wants it. Uh, she'll start off and she'll use the needle and basically what she's going to do is stab away into the base inside the jumper and as you can see, when you're holding the felting wool, your needle is going quite close to your fingers. So, just be aware of that. Now, as you can see, that's starting to knit in to the jumper and form a nice circle.
this is a good one to do if you're fed up with staying in. You can take your frustrations out on this. I will warn you, felting can become highly addictive. Um, and as with all of our online workshops, you will have the option to purchase a starter kit, which will give you three colours of felting wool, a felting needle and the base to be able to felt into. All of these are essential to do your felting. You can see that's taking shape quite quickly and very nicely. This is such a satisfying art to do because you very quickly see the results of your work. And also as you go on and if you get bitten by it, you can make all sorts. You can make um, little dogs using pipe cleaner, frames. You can make pictures sort of like 2D pictures. Um, the limits are endless with felting. So as you can see, that is now starting to get to the end. It is just tidying up the edges, which again, you can do. So when that's done, just ease it away from underneath. It does felt in. And then you can move on to your next moth hole. And I believe Ellie's going to use a nice creamy white for this one. Again, she's just going to manipulate it a little bit just to make it easier to blend in. Slightly smaller one this time, just to give it a look of decoration rather than repair. It sounds quite brutal, but actually it works really well. You just need to take a little care lifting it from your felting base. Again, she's just tidying up the edges. Lovely. 
and then on to the next hole and she'll use the same size again in the green. But the designs are endless. You could you, you could you could go all over your jumper if you wanted to. Um, That looks so nice. You wouldn't know that that wasn't supposed to be there. So that's just a, a simple design um, that you can do on your own without having to worry. We've also got um, a template here. Um, now this one is a purchased one. Um, and basically to do that, you pop your wool inside whichever heart you choose to do. Just get a nice covering on the jumper. And then you literally just go all the way around the template with your felting needle. It is a good idea to make sure that you go right to the edges on this because that's what gives you the, the sharp shape. If need be, you can always add a bit more wool. Um, it's not an exact science. You you do it till you're happy with the outcome. Some people like to do it very thin. Others like a, a good covering of wool. It really is personal preference on this.
So Ellie will now lift it away from the mat underneath. And there we have a pretty little heart shape. Now, as with all of these designs, they just require a nice light press with a steam iron, and that helps to bring the jumper fibers around the felt back up and the felt to bed in nicely. Um, as we said in the beginning, this was a really fun workshop to do. Um, I will warn you, it can become addictive. Um, we've got some other colours here to show you. Um, it's just a, It just gives you an idea of the range of colours that are on the market. Um, if you wish to choose your, to purchase your starter pack, you will get a piece of felting mat three colours of felting wool and a felting needle to start you off. Uh, to do any templates, they are very simple. You can use cookie cutters, they do the same thing. You can cut shapes out of cardboard and just felt around the edges. Um, it really is limitless what you can choose from your home in order to do your felting. I hope you've enjoyed this one. This is one that we've really enjoyed showing you um, and felt away. Funky.